right, next up, we have Christine De Clario, who just won Spanish Language Recorded Song of the Year for Tantas Historias. Please welcome Christine De Clario. Hi, everyone. These are my co-writers, Jordan Sapp and Jonathan Gamble, masterminds and wordsmiths and producers and a lot of things that I am not. So I'm really excited that we just won. Spanish language recorded song of the year, Tantas Historias, which in English is stories on stories. <laughs> uh, give us the story behind the song. It's a, a good one. Um, this song was written about three years into my recovery process from mental illness. Um, six years ago when I had my daughter, I fell into a severe postpartum depression, and one of the symptoms of it was suicide. So it was hard for me to reconcile being a leader, a Christian leader that was constantly proclaiming life and having a whole bunch of disturbances in my brain and my chemistry that were telling me the opposite. And when I became brave enough again to start honing in my creativity and getting out there, and of course when my therapist was like, yeah, I think you're ready to write this song again. Um, my friends and family and my management team pushed me to come to Nashville, paired me up with these amazing fellows that are standing with me. And this song just kind of flowed out of me just sharing my experience of the last few years knowing that, like the chorus says, I've got 10,000 stories of your faithfulness, but not one where you failed me, not one where you fall, not one where your arms couldn't reach me and carry the weight of it all, not one where you left me, not one where you changed, not one when your love doesn't win if I'm fighting the wind and the waves. Because I've got stories on stories of goodness worth singing about, but not one where you let me down. And so God has been faithful, and I'm alive today because of it, and what do you know, when I put it out, there's a lot more people that have that in common with me. And they've been singing this, this song in three different languages around the world. So hopefully the Lord gives us more life and strength to send it out into more languages and more territories of the world. Because he's still good and he's still faithful. Any other questions? Just share some, maybe some advice for people who might be going through some mental health issues of their own right now. Well, first of all, shame is a liar. Don't, don't let shame dictate you getting help or not, because you are not your illness. Your illness is something that's happening to you, but it doesn't own you. It doesn't define you. Remember who you are. You are a child of the living God, and whether you're in a rut or you're in a high place, he is still God and he is still your father and he still loves you. Nothing can change that ever. Not here on earth, not in eternity, neither height or depth or past or present or future or pestilence or death or life can separate us from the love of God our Father. Now, the second thing I would say is get help. Reach out. You'd be surprised how many more people are for you than those that would be against you if they knew. And there are so many stories of people that have overcome mental illness in the church. We're quiet ones sometimes, but we're out there. Reach out, you'll probably find somebody who's been through the same desert you're walking through and they can help you out. We have the authority to pull people out of their storms when we've been through them. So you're not alone, that is a lie. You are not alone, you are not the only one going through this, there is help available. Just reach out and find it. That's all you have to do. And just do it for the next 24 hours. Hold on for the next day. God will give you grace for tomorrow. Just hold on today. Give yourself a chance today. Just watch him do what he's going to do. Buenas uh, noches. Hola, I'm going to do it in Spanish. <laughs> Felicidades. Gracias, ¿verdad? ¿Y a quién dedica este, este, esta victoria del día de hoy? A la fidelidad de Dios, sin, sin duda. Él es el Dios que decidió quedarse. 
cuando yo ya me había descartado. Y por eso entrego todo lo que tengo en mi vida para su gloria. And I'll say it in English, she asked, who do I dedicate this award to? And definitely to the faithfulness of my good God, because he chose to stay. When I had discarded myself, he still saw something of value to stay for, and I will forever be grateful and give him everything I have to proclaim his name. Simple as that. On my good days and my bad ones. Thank you so much. Thanks, Scott.